My original series Enterprise lighting circuit for the Polar Lights model, the 1350 scale. Uh, Mark, I don't know, 40, 42. Um, I've been working at this a long time, but this one, this is finally uh, everything all together in a couple of boards. Um, you can see the blinking running lights from the saucer edge. They're one half seconds on, half seconds off. I call them strobes or formation lights, the ones at the back end of the secondary hall. They're usually half second on, half second off. Uh, pretty quick, so like a strobe. And then here's the uh, blinking and pulsating lights for the inside of the uh, nacelle engines, the warp engines, um, with the stepper motor uh, that I've switched to after using a full Haber DC motors for the longest time. Um, I switched to using a stepper motor here. So there's only two boards that control this. There's actually a third board in this here, but it's, it's optional. Um, there's one board to control all the blinking lights and pulsating lights for the amber. So one board does all that. That's this one back here. That's using a Pololu uh, A-Star 328 PB, so 20 megahertz. So uh, multiple or just plenty of uh, um, pulse width modulation uh, outputs and then runs through a uh, transistor to power all the multiple LEDs. And then over here is the uh, motor controller um, that uses a Pololu uh, A-Star 32U4 chip, um, a TMC2208 stepper motor driver, which is incredibly quiet. And then I have a uh, rotary encoder to adjust the speed. So this stepper motor that I've got here is incredibly quiet, uh, very small. I've got it attached using this um, piece of plastic at the back. Uh, it only really makes a noise when you leave it lying on the table, um, but super, super quiet. Uh, it's tough with the exposure to see all the lights, um, all the blinking lights that is. You can see the pulsing amber lights, but it's tough to get uh, on video all the blinking lights, but the one board now does all of it. So previously I had separate boards for go inside the nacelle engines to do the blinking amber lights. So you'd have to have two boards, one on each side. Now there's just the single board that does everything. Now let's get a bird's eye view here. So that's over here or my finger somewhere there. Uh, that's the board. I'm also switched to using these, uh, they're called, I think, European style terminal blocks where you just uh, pass in the wires and tighten a screw. Uh, both are uh, both ones I'm using here on both boards are top entry. Um, these ones joined together, they're modular. So on the on the motor board, the blue ones, they join together so you can make two, five, seven, eight, just by joining twos and threes together. Um, the big big change for the stepper motors was finding this TMC twenty two oh eight stepper motor driver board. It can drive both. One board can drive both engines at the same speed um, just by reversing the wire connections uh, and changing the uh, the max current. Um, but it is absolutely brilliant. It is so quiet compared to some of the other stepper motor drivers out. So the, the third board back here is optional. This is my push button power control and also infrared receiver control. So I'm using that in my kit because I'll have an infrared remote that I can uh, use to power on, turn on and turn off the ship, but also uh, I'm going to wire up the buttons to be able to send commands to these boards. So for example, I could send a command to the uh, uh, board that controls all the blinking lights to change the uh, rates of blinking for the saucer engines. Uh, different shows had them blinking at different rates, so I could do that if I wanted to, but primarily probably I'll connect the wires um, using the wire library in order to uh, adjust the speed of the motors because um, I think I've got the speed here. It's pretty slow, uh, but that's what it looks like to me. Um, you, may be, you may want to adjust it. So this board back here is a power control. It also has the uh, five volt uh, step down from the 12 volt input um, that can uh, do, I think up to three or four amps. So uh, plenty of power for all the, uh, for all the five volt lights. 
um, push button. So I've got a push button over here. So let's pull out and let's have a push button wired up. And that turns it off. And then turn it back on again. You notice the engines slowly start to spin up as well as the amber lights fade up. Sort of hard to see again in this video. So, Mark 42 done. The last thing I'm working on is a board to adjust the brightness of up to 12 different strings of LED tape or strips um, so I can control the brightness of all the windows. And then, uh, I, then I guess I finished the kit.